I'm out here today in our native willow mother bed and um, next to some um, some Bebs willow, Salix bebiana here. And as you can see, everything is really starting to go into dormancy and we're getting ready to do our fall willow harvest. And so, you know, really as soon as the leaves start to fall, um, we'll start collecting live willow stakes for implementation in this season. And then of course, um, we'll be able to collect willow stakes again in the spring um, for, for reclamation and bioengineering projects. And along with the Bev's willow, um, we have here um, five acres of native willow mother bed, so including um, yellow willow, sandbar, um, pussy willow, as well as basket willow. And so um, the interesting thing we've seen as we've established this bed across the last three years is just the different growth habits, even you know amongst willow species. And so your sandbar willow and your yellow willow, um, you know, they really root and establish fairly quickly and aggressively compared to some of the other species like your bevs and your um, your basket and your pussy willow. And so um, even though sandbar and yellow are really great to have in the toolkit for um, restoration projects, it's also nice to have that uh, diversity in there. So this is the start of our montane uh, balsam poplar bed and so you can see we started it this season with wild collected stakes and um, balsam poplar is absolutely fantastic for, for propagating through stake. And so you'll see here these guys are really already off to a, a great start and so within a couple years it's going to be looking similar to our uh, balsam poplar bed here right next to it which was um, started from a grassland source.